King News, my lovely, wonderful people. Hmm. Uh, Bawa, the C, the EFCC chief, he don't reply you. He said nobody is hundred percent clean. Write petition against me if I'm cor corrupt. Nobody is hundred percent clean. So do your worst. Then I waiting to tell the governor of uh, Zamfara State because that one say go expose her. Say he get evidence against her. Say the guy they corrupt. Say the guy they collect bribe. So now so he say we well, say. Nobody for Nigeria, they hundred percent clean. Say so if the guy eh, that's what he won't do, make it do safe because he don't get chance, he don't get anybody face or anybody time. So anything anybody want to do, write petition, me they write petition against them. These are the people who are supposed to be fighting corruption and crime. They are the one telling you that there is no their crime does not have any any whatever with them. Welcome to Nigeria. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. God bless. He says so nobody be hundred percent. Saint Clean, Abdul Razid, the chairman of the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, has challenged Bello Matawa to write a petition against him if he has committed any form of financial misappropriation of fund or bribery. Speaking with BBC House on Thursday, Bawa had asked the governor of Zamfara State to report any governor who has committed financial crime to the EFCC. On Wednesday, the Zamfara State Governor asked the ESCC Chairman to ensure that the agency probe does not target only outgoing governors but also officials in the presidency because they cannot talk to them or every one of them are the same. Matawa said that the planned investigation by the EFCC must be holistic and not sensitive to some areas. They know who they cannot touch. Reacting to Matawa's comments, the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, the anti grief Agency, disclosed that it, is that it is probing the governors for allegedly diverting 70 billion men for contracts in their states. Asked during the interview to react to an allegation for Matawa Bello that the EFCC boss is not completely clean from corruption, Bawa said that the, the type of person who is 100% clean from corruption does not exist. Is there any human being that is 100% free in this country? No one. That type of person does not exist. I read what Matawa Bello said that we should investigate ministers and governors. We are doing our investigation on them, the governors. If he knows any governor that has done something wrong, he should report to us, he said. As I am speaking to you now, we have a minister under our custody for about one week over 25 billion naira fraud we are doing our work because someone has committed to crime Com does not mean any person is free or let him come and show me that person that is 100 percent free because someone has committed a crime does not mean another person's crime will not be of, of be an offense everyone will answer for his name if he thinks i have done something wrong there is there is the police, ICPC, and code of conduct. He can write to them and say, "This is what the EFCC chairman has done, and it shall be investigated." And I shall be investigated. I received a report of an invitation that was conducted on matter where there was a contract who was given about four billion naira. The contractor said EFCC told EFCC he supplied the item he was paid for. When asked to show documents of proof of the supply, he said he does not have them, and to take the and he took the money to the bureau, the change to con to convert it to foreign currency and gave it to some government officials. That was not the contractor. That was what the contractor told us. If he wa wants, if he likes it or not, we will still investigate. He took it to the bureau of change and to convert the money to dollars and pay some governors there is another contractor too who was paid over four billion for the construction of road a single stone wasn't laid by the contractor he said they shared they also gave some governors so these are the people we are investigating so my people now waiting they happen be this many matters they turn my people is supposed to they do something be this so now they night they shop money so and everybody quiet, they look them. Now, what's in the happen? Now, what's in with the see for our very own country? 
Now they are our eyes when we they see so. So nobody should be quiet and tell me, say, ah, madam, is okay, is okay. No, what is wrong is wrong. Another name, not they. What did they wrong? They wrong. You get me now. What did they wrong? They wrong. This country is going through a lot. And some people not care. Some people not care. They not care one bit. You know, they are ready to eat the money, divide the money for themselves. You know, these are some of the things that happen. And why nobody, okay, should sit down there and think everything is all right. The country is currently going through a lot. And we need help like not now, yesterday. Okay? So these are all part of the things going on. And that's why every single person, you know, every single person must understand that we cannot allow these same people to come into governance and begin to give us direction for crying out loud they are only mostly looking out for themselves they are hardly looking out for the people hardly hardly sweetheart they are hardly looking out for the people you know so these are people who we see and we wonder you know where all this is coming from we sincerely wonder when you say god great not be smart you know god great you know get part two he great not get that word of people for the world say god great now the truth that they tell you and so we must all wake up and tell ourselves the truth say you know what enough is enough can we get can we get real leaders can we get sincere men and women can we move this nation from where it currently is right now and bring the country to where it ought to be okay so now where will they be this okay we will, now where will they be this so this is why as a nation as a people where are we Nigeria is like it's like it's like a jungle if you ask me. Is this where they happen? Oh dear. It's like a jungle. Yeah? See the whole problem, every time they happen, you go no say this country, ah the people will say, you know, they don't want to make the country good. They plenty pass people want make the country good. They plenty pass. So it is it is a matter of serious you know concern. You know, it's a matter of serious concern. Yeah? So we just need to rise up. We need to ensure, say, you know, the right thing is done and this country is changed and safe. Yes. Okay. So we just need to ensure that uh, we do everything that is needed and proper for us to move forward. Nobody should sit back there and think that things are suddenly going to fall in place because, you know, they say so. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Remember you have a voice. Let's speak out against evil. God bless. Bye for now.